Hi guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today are some more project shares using the new May release from ScrapDavidDesigns.com. Um, here is Erica's website right here. And then on the back here is all of her social uh, info. So make sure you follow along that hashtag and if you're interested in any of these um, dies, you can pick them up over there at scrapdavidesigns.com. All right, so first up, first one I'm going to share with you is this one, which is called Frilly Rose Flower Plates. So you get two plates, two different sizes, and love this. Talk about quick and easy way to make flowers and not lose all your little dies and not have to run it through, you know, so many times. So love these. So there's um, nine flowers on each of the plates and then four centers on each of the plates. So I love that. So here are the ones I made. Um, some of these things I, I, I shared a picture on um, Instagram of them. Some I did, some I didn't. So here's the two different sizes, and then I use the um, little center to here too, just so you could see it. I think they, let's see, these I think they have three layers. I use three layers on each of these. Okay, and then I just use some of the little styrofoam um, gold glitter things from Dollar Tree. So love how these look. Love, love, love them. So you can make a lot of flowers really quick and easy and not, and spare your arm not having to run it through the <laughs> die cutting machine a ton of times. Okay, so that is the first one I wanted to share with you. Okay, next up I made some of these. Let me show you here. So I made some cute little bows. And this is using this die set, which is Bolt Heart Butterfly Bow. Love it. So we've got a large and a small. Okay. Um, collection I'm using for a lot of these projects is the Simple Stories Retro Summer. That's what all these are made out of. Now a couple of these, the first couple um, I used, I cut the top layer with hearts on it. I cut that out of foam and so I just kind of, I layered it up on top just for some dimension and just got a, you know, cabochon inside there with the, you know, a cute little um, popsicle. Um, on the next set of ones that I did, I didn't put them up on foam and I left, I only glued them in the middle. so. They could have some more dimension this way by just kind of you know flipping up the edges and then this one which i didn't pull this die out but this this right here is part of another die set this um pink piece this is part of the um uh, flower center die set so love that and just put a cabochon in there here's a bigger one same backing there. Here's just a, a um, little um, wooden flower I used on there. So cute. And then here's another one. This one I have that same center again in gold. And I just put a little bee in the center of it. Just or something. So again, that is the Bolt Heart, Bolt Heart Butterfly Bow. And let's see. Let me give you a measurement. So the large one across is about two and three quarters or so across and the small one across is about um two and a quarter okay so there's my cute little bows okay and then next up we have these little cuties which is 
from this die set, which is called Lemon Shaker. So you get two different sizes of lemon. Okay, so here's the larger size, and I made shakers. Really, really cute. These little tiny flowers um, are part of the set. Here's the smaller one. And then you also get um, the word fresh in it, in a larger size and the small size, and it's got the, you know, the shadow piece to it also. So these, for these ones, I just um, used the negative part that Kit cut out, um, and put it, and then I cut a piece out of foam to layer it up, and then I cut the word fresh out of foam also. It's a cute little gem up there, one little leaf. I just cut from um, this piece, I just cut, you know, one leaf off and added it to the top, and then some pretty little baker's twine. So I thought they turned out really cute. Now this, these ones, I used this old <laughs> paper pad that I had in my stash, American Crafts, it's called Mayberry. But I liked it because it had it has some really pretty, um, you know, like lemony looking things. So I used that kind of pattern and then some of this green. And then I used a pink solid one. I like that strawberries. Just this one. Oh yeah, I used this plain pink that I didn't figure I'd use this, you know, on anything else. So I just um, cut out, you know, my pink um, trim for the, for the, um, whatchamacallit, for the shaker la layer. So those are my cute little lemons. Uh, these make such cute little embellishments. I love them, love them, love them. Super easy to put together too. Okay, so there's my lemon, shaker lemon. And then next up, hang on just a second. Let me get something I forgot to bring over. Okay, so next up I used this die set, which is the Popsicle Shakers. Okay, so you get everything you need to make a shaker. Have this cute little Popsicle. You got your drips, you got, um, you can put a face on it. Um, it comes with this cute little bow right here. Also, which I love. Let me show you that. Pull that out. Look at that cute little Cute little bow, how cute that is. I love that bow. And then it comes with a layering piece for the stick that like right here that has the like the wood grain. Love that. So that is the set here. This is what I made with that. So here's one that I um this one I just layered up on foam. Okay, my centerpiece. And it's actually um a piece cut out you know, from the inside when you do the shaker, when you do the shaker part, the piece that came out is what I used here and just layered it up on on foam. Okay. And then I cut my base out of, I mean my stick out of, um, layered up with some white foam. So it's got that little wood grain look in there. Here's some of the flowers that I already shared with you. Here's some more of the center flower centers set I used um, behind them. Here's the cute little bow I was talking about. Now I made the bow a shaker. So, and it's a see-through shaker. I don't, let's see if you can see that. See those little micro beads moving around through there. So I made that a shaker. This is one of the flower, this is some of the flower centers I use right there. An enamel dot, some tool down here to make a little bow that turned out really cute <clears throat> and then this one I did make the shaker out of the you know the whole popsicle is made into a shaker um, I didn't put the <clears throat> drip piece on this one because I had this pretty pattern paper back here <coughs> excuse me that had the um, drip already so I just thought I'm just gonna leave that in I'm gonna cut that part out and have that inside and then I you know made it a shaker cut it out of foam Okay, and then um, 
I use this is the uh, the summer is from the um, <clears throat> the set summer words three with it you get travel you get travel traveling um, I can't remember them all you get travel season summer traveling lemonade and swimming those are all the words that you get with the this um, summer words number three okay so that's where I made that <clears throat> and I layered it up on foam also and I use this part just for this makes a great layering piece this summer this um, flower centers set and I don't have that over here I, all the pieces are separate over there on my where I cut most of my stuff so I don't have it here right here with me to show you but I'll do another some more projects that will feature that more this is just stuff I used on here and then uh, down here for the bow I used <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys I use this uh, mouse bow small so here's the bow set I didn't use the ears um, but all the rest I used and I got two of these layered up and it comes with these cute little um, pieces right here that you can cut the holes out to make it polka dot. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then I put one of the flowers from the flower pit plate set in there. Now right here, look how cute this is. This I use some of this. I've had this in my stash forever and it's actually wood sheets. So it's like a real thin um, piece of wood. It's like a wood paper and it's real wood and you can use it and you can see right here I use that to cut out the stick so it looks like a real stick even though it's not um, out of that paper. Isn't that cool looking? So and then it's um, of course um, it's all layered up to give it stability. So I love that. So there's my popsicles. <clears throat> Goodness, can keep getting all froggy in my throat. Okay. So that's that. Next up, what do I have? Okay, next up I have A beauty. It is featuring this die set, which is the 3D lemonade cart. <clears throat> There's so many cute um, examples out there that the design team have been creating. But so here is mine. Kind of tip it this way so you can see it. Isn't this beautiful? So um, for this project, <coughs> I didn't have big enough pieces from, because all I have is a six by six pad. So this one, I used um, just a couple pieces that I purposely got for this. Um, I don't have the whole collection or anything. I don't have anything other than just a couple sheets of paper because I wanted some of the lemon. It's like a lemon paper. You can see on the edges. I just thought that was really pretty. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I used to um, to make this and then the reverse side of the lemon paper was this um, black and white so I decided to alternate and layer the black and white and the pink um, I've got some cute little um, pink like fringe trim hanging from down here <clears throat> even though this is a fresh lemonade cart I just put some flowers in there just so you could see <clears throat> I use some, <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry guys, <clears throat> this cute little heart trim right here, got my wheels I put on with brads so they can, you know, actually spin if I want them to, but I, I got them down real, real tight, so <clears throat> they're not spinning right now, okay, then I got some um, chipboard, that's a, you know, black and white chipboard flower from Maggie Home, I can't remember which collection, but I want, you know, a little bit more kind of black to go with the thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't talk. 
Okay, this fresh is from the lemon set, like I showed you right here. So that's the fresh. And then lemonade is part of um, pretty sure it comes in the cart set. But let me, I think there's two layers of dies here, so let me double check if it came in this set or if it was part of the word set. No, it's part of the lemonade, it's part of the lemonade stand um, set. So you get this word in that set. Okay. Um, and then I just used um, some lemon pieces. So these little partial pieces that I have is from this set, which is called Lemon Slices. So I have some sli a little slice right here that I've layered up on foam, and I got some pretty little flowers around. Um, and then these two big lemons here are from the lemon shaker set. So I got two here that aren't shakers, but I just layered them up and, and stacked them. And then this is one of the lemon slices. Okay, and then just put little flowers on it, added an extra leaf. Um, I made a cute little dangle with a, a lemonade um, charm here and a flower and a bead, some tassels. So I added that there. Um, I put a little cute part of the half lemon you know, lemon, lemon slice right there on the front of my cart. And then I put a straw in between for my handles. This part I layered up twice so it would give it more stability. So I think she turned out really cute. I love it. So very fun die. And it's really easy to put together too. So if, if it looks a little complicated, it's not. So, and you can do so many different things with this. It can be a lemonade card. It could be <clears throat> a flower card. It could be whatever kind of card you want it to be. Um, I saw, um, let's see. I think I saw the Pink Ape and MJ Carroll might have um, done some um, Halloween ones too. So, yeah, very cute die set to have in your stash. So, love that. Okay, and that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. I will link all of um, Erica's information, um, the, the link to the store, the my affiliate link, um, or links to all these dies that I used. Um, if I have inspired you to pick up any of these dies, please use my um, discount code, Polka10, um, at checkout to save you guys some money. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching. Those of you who do use my affiliate links, I really appreciate it. It helps my channel out a lot. So it doesn't cost you anything more. Um, but just helps the channel a little bit. So thank you so much for those of you who do that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back shortly with some more shares for you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.